one of her. What is that? Stuck to the bed a little. My dearest Faith, I never meant to hurt you, and I cannot endure knowing that I have. This was for the best. I'll see you again. Love, your devoted Lawrence. I should know his face. There are so few of us. I should know his face. Oh my god, Bigby, he's alive! What? What are you doing here? Let's get you back up. Oh, what are you doing here? What's going on? We found you here, in your chair with what we thought was a fatal injury. We should call Swinehart, have him take a look at you. Wait a second on that, Snow. You know who I am? Yes. Good. I have a few questions. Why? What? What's this about? We found your note. They made a decision for us. It felt like the only way out. So I shot myself in the heart. I uh, thought I'd be dead by now. It hurts like fucking hell. Your heart's actually a little more to the center. Probably had a lung. Great. Uh, at least that's how I think it happened. Things are a little fuzzy. Thought it was a bad dream. Why did you do it, Lawrence? I did it because I was ashamed. I couldn't live with myself, knowing I had done that to her. I did what I could to keep her away, but she still worries about me. She comes by, makes sure I'm okay. I'm a fucking burden. I'm useless. I don't want her to have to worry about me anymore. She's better off without me. Without me being here to drag her down. She deserves that. She's been through a lot. I just wish I could have done better by her. She's always been there for me. Go away. I'm sorry to inform you that your wife has been killed. No. No. No, no, no. I knew this would happen. I'm sorry. I am. But I'm gonna need you to help me find whoever did this. So you need to try and remember anything that could possibly help us. Fuck, Georgie! Lawrence. why whoever's out there is breaking in. I need your help. What do I do? Just play dead. What? Trust me. You can't move in your condition anyway, so just stay still. The second we figure out what they're here for, Bigby will arrest them. Think about your wife. Give me back the gun, just in case. Hey! 
Stop! Leave me alone! Same side here. You son of a bitch. Make me run after you. Why <coughs> did you run? <coughs> what? Why did you run? Fuck, man. Because you chased after me. The fuck was I supposed to do? You're looking for the woodsman, right? My employer is looking to ask him a few questions, too. Uh, the fuck? Come on. Dumb. Dumb? Yeah, it is. Look, it'd be much easier for you no, to... No, I'm D. He's dumb. You almost looked peaceful. Yep. Except you're lying in a dirty alley. Yep. With an open wound on the back of your head. Yep. Where'd they go? Well, after the one guy hit you, and the other one finished kicking you... That explains the ribs. Then they jumped into a car and drove off. Come on. Get up. We should check in on Toad. See if there's anything there that can get us back on the trail. And we ended up going out the window and I landed on Toad's car. You guys made a real mess. Yeah. Looks worse than a day. I don't think anybody's here. We came all this way for nothing. <laughs> all right, son. All right, he's gone. He's left. It's over now. Miss White! Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bother. Sorry, Big V. It's embarrassing to have to admit, but uh, I thought there was someone else in Woody's place. There wasn't, though. Uh, not when I checked. Nothing but a leaky drain pipe. Imagination must have got the best of me. So, you know, false alarm. Sorry for dragging Miss White into this. What's going on? What do you mean? Nothing's going on, Bigby. I don't know what you mean. Truly. False alarm is all. Sorry.
Is your son in there? He's fine, Miss White. Just stung his little toe. Better swimmer than walker, just like his dad. Wanna... So, I guess you'll be taking off now. No need to hang around here anymore. I mean, I'm sorry you came all the way here for nothing. I'll leave when I'm ready, Toad. I just want to check things out first. The longer you talk, the longer this takes. So just stand over there and shut all up. All right, all right. I just don't want to waste your time, is all. Uh, have a seat. Have a cup of tea. Whatever you like. TJ? Are you all right? There you are. I don't mean to intrude, but Flycatcher said you had a pretty awesome insect collection, and I was wondering if you could, perhaps, let me see it? It has a weevil. Cool. Just mind the upholstery while you're looking for nothing. Yeah, sure thing. How'd this happen? Fucking hell. Damn thing must have fell off a table. Uh-huh. The lamp just fell off the table. All the boy was faffing about, playing salts and salt fish. Who knows with the lad? People think they are. Uh-huh. How's it going? Toad's hiding something, but I don't know what yet. Did the kid say anything? No, but I'm worried. He has two huge bruises on his arms. He won't tell me why, and he acted nervous when I brought it up. Hmm. Something's going on. Stay with the kid until I figure out why. Here. The poker? What of it? There's fresh blood on the tip. I could smell it from the door. I was... I was poking the coals and it slipped a bit. Sliced up in my foot like a seashell. Looked like a shit ugly thing. Sounds painful. Oi! Don't you go mother-ending now. The wound didn't sit very long, you know. Pokes have been a fable, I suppose. <laughs> and a frog. Is it now? If it's blood, you know what happened. I no. There's marks here on the windowsill. And what's that about? No real reason. Just last night when I'd come out, I was in a, a downright dizzy, mate, as you would be. And <laughs> I plum forgot the keys to this place. And I had to climb in through the bloody window. Really? Scared Junior off to death. Here, too. What you mean? There's a clean space in the dust over here. Ah, uh, maybe one of Junior's toys or something? I mean, who knows? If you're gonna say something, out with it. That broken lamp used to be here, right? Just tell me what happened. Nothing happened, mate. Nothing! And why did the lamp have to be there, of all the blooming pointless inquiries? It's my own place. Don't you think I'll know what happens in it? I don't know. Something about it seems fishy. Oi, dancing broomsticks and talking toasters are one little thing, but a wolf in sheriff's clothing can't fathom a knocked over desk light?
I think Ma Junior has a crush on your girl. I know something's off here, Toad. And I know you know I can't leave until I find out why. So can we please just skip to the end of the page before I have to get mean? I don't know what you want, Big B. There's nothing going on. There's just... there's just nothing to tell. Look around the room and see for yourself. Everything has its explanation, you'll see. Honestly, Toad, I don't know if I will. And I don't know if I've got the patience to reverse engineer whatever scheme this is. Big boy's in the other room, Big B. Come on now. We're friends, right? <sighs> oh, Jesus! You're gonna tell me, right now, what the fuck happened before we showed up. Big B! If it even has the faintest whiff of bullshit, I'm gonna... Dad! Bigby, is this really necessary? Oh, This is the job, Snow. You may not like it, but this is the job. Dad! Oh my god. Take off your hat. Bigby, you didn't... He didn't. It was that butcher, a, a Tweedle, Dame or D. You gotta strip them down to their johnnies before you can tell which is which. They come bulging in, screaming about something the woodsman had. Or thought he had, I don't know. He tore up the place, beat me up when I said I didn't have it. And if you had come in when I asked you to, maybe he wouldn't have had the nerve to strong arm me boy. He hurt Toad Jr. How awful. What the hell does he care? It's always the same with you, isn't it, Big B? If I'm in trouble, need help, if I call about something, you always take a live long day to get here. What if he done something worse, eh? I'm tired of feeling trivial, mate. A lot of us are. We're sorry, TJ. Really. What did you tell him? If you're worried about your own skin, forget it. I didn't tell him nothing about you or your shit. I would have told you. I wanted to, really, I did. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. I even tried to give the bastard a coat. He wouldn't take it. Whose coat? The girl. Dad borrows things from people who live here. Uh, sometimes? Borrows? I don't steal nothing. Turn around here would astonish you, mate. I merely repossess what's been left behind. Well, we'll be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin, family, anyone. All right. Fetch him the fur. Fine bit of dress it is. Now I wouldn't wear it outside. Wait. It's an envelope. Fucking hell, of course there is. For my luck, it's a map to some bloody doubloons. It's addressed to Prince Lawrence. What do you want to do with it? I'm sorry, Faith. What could she have been sorry for? I don't know. Maybe Lawrence does. Well, it's been quite a surprising day for all of us, hasn't it? I'd see you out, but I'm afraid of dripping any more blood in the place. It was very nice talking to you, TJ. Thanks. Uh, see ya. And don't worry about what happened earlier. Just feel better, okay? Boy, am I glad that I called you. Fucking Christ. Next time, just go to the bloody trip trap if you're looking for the woodsman. I'll be honest, Bigby. I don't really know how to feel about what happened in there. We got what we came for. Some information. It'll be alright. So 
So, split a cab? Sure. I can only go to the trip trap for now, anyway. Not because of what Toad said. Hopefully the woodsman's there. Or, I don't know, someone who will know where to find him. It's my best lead. Our only lead, really. When you put it that way. Every time I think I'm getting a handle on what's going on, things just get more complicated. It feels like we're always a step behind. The woodsman is the only lead we've got, and he was one of the last people to see Faith alive. Getting some answers out of him will start to clear things up. I hope you're right. Bigby, be honest with me. Who do you think did this? I know it's still early, but I just feel a step behind. The woodsman. He had the motive. He had the means. You sound so sure that he's guilty. Mm. At this point, I'm smashing a glass on that guy's head and dragging him out of there. We'll figure out the rest later. This side of you scares me sometimes. <laughs> 